Episodes 11 and 12 of Mix were all about reorienting our ideas of Doma and Soichiro. Up until this point, the easy comparison to make between Doma and Soichiro have been with the Uesugi twins in touch. Soichiro would represent Kazuya as the older brother who gets all the girls and has all of the talent and is very popular in school. And Doma would represent Tatsuya as the younger brother, someone who's not as popular, someone who fewer people are paying attention to. And these last two episodes are trying to make the argument that maybe we've been looking at it wrong the entire time. This starts in episode 11 when the coach asks Soichiro to pitch after seeing him show another pitcher how to properly wind up. When Soichiro pitches, he demonstrates his abilities are just as great as Doma's, and the coach thinks that he may have struck gold with two fantastic pitchers on his roster. But Soichiro doesn't want to pitch, and there are two reasons that he gives. The first one is that by fate of an early game of rock, paper, scissors in their lives, Soichiro was destined to be the catcher and Doma was destined to be a pitcher. And the other reason is because Soichiro is such a good catcher that even if he were to pitch, he doesn't have the benefit of pitching to himself. But these are only the spoken reasons why Soichiro doesn't want to pitch. There is an unspoken reason at play here, and it's the same reason why Tatsuya kind of defers to Kazuya in touch. And that's because Soichiro is just trying to accommodate his brother's growth. He recognizes that as the younger brother entering this family of three, that there were fewer expectations on him. And he wants to make sure that even though he's not as popular as Soichiro, he's not as well liked, that he grows up to have the self-confidence and the ability to independently progress. This is the same mindset that Tatsuya had in touch. And as was pointed out to me by a commenter on one of my videos, that there is some evidence, or there has been evidence throughout the series, that Soichiro may indeed represent Tatsuya, and Doma may indeed represent Kazuya. Not just with how they behave around each other, but also with the orientation of the bunk beds. Tatsuya always slept on the top bunk, as does Soichiro, whereas Kazuya sleeps in the bottom bunk, where Doma sleeps. Of course, this comparison between Soichiro and Kazuya and Doma and Tatsuya may make some fans worried that there is someone that is going to leave the series before we expect them to, but we haven't reached that point at all in the story. Episode 12 further expands upon this idea. While at a girlfriend's house, Otomi finds out that her dad was a really popular boy in high school. His name is Sawai Geichi, and he also happens to be the last pitcher that did anything of worth at Mese. Now this is establishing that the talent is potentially actually going through Soichiro, since Sawai Geichi is Soichiro's dad. But this is something that Toma's father is disputing, since he tells Toma that his deceased mother was actually a really good softball pitcher in high school. Basically, there's plenty of talent to spare all around. But even with all of this info, Soichiro is still refusing to take Doma's place on the mound. And I think this makes a natural conclusion for this quote-unquote season by building expectations that mirror what we saw out of the first few episodes of Touch and then flipping them towards the end. At the end of episode 12, we find out that Meisei draws Kenjo for the first game of the summer preliminary tournament. And we go into the next quote-unquote season with this summer tournament beginning. Now, I realize since episode 12 aired, there have already been a couple of episodes that have been broadcasted. But I'm going to stop at episode 12 with these podcasts. Mostly because they're taking up a lot of my time and they're not holding as much interest as I thought they would but also because I feel this is a natural conclusion to what I consider to be the biggest season of baseball anime yet, with Cinderella 9 and Ace of Diamond and Mix all becoming part of the baseball anime canon. It's nice to take a step back and appreciate all that we've gotten out of this season. Mix is going to continue for the foreseeable future, at least until October. That would probably give it a nice 26 episode run. Not enough to bring it to the point where the manga currently is, so we'll see if that marks the end of this series. Although, I sincerely hope not, since I did enjoy this show. 
or I have been enjoying this show rather, and I'm definitely going to keep up with it for however long it goes.